Hey, puzzle people. How are you? Come on in. It is time for puzzles. Hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, already seeing some Killer Frost people in the chat. That's amazing. Hey, Kristen. Kristen, you've caught the puzzle bug, which is awesome. Hey, Barry. Nice to see you again. I uh, hope you guys have been well. This, uh, this, this time has been good for writing puzzles, I'll tell you that. Um, hey, Jen, thanks for coming in. What's up, guys? Hello, Zoe. Uh, let's see if my friend Danielle is here. She is. This is going to be so fun. Cannot wait. Hi. 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 Let me turn up the volume here so I can hear you. How are you doing? I'm good. This is um, my first time going live with someone, so I'm very excited slash a little nervous. Oh no, no, it's it's the tech works great. It's it's really <laughs> fun. You doing you doing well? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm on maternity leave, so this is sort of what I thought. You know, being oh, quarantined oh. at home was kind of what I thought I'd be doing anyway. That is a good confluence of. of yes. That. Yes. Well, congratulations. Silver lining to all the crazy things happening in the world. Congratulations, by the way. That's Thank awesome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I think the last time I saw you was in Vancouver. I was trying was to think back. For... Yeah, when we had dinner. That's I was up, crazy. I was up there for the TED conference. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they did the TED Talks there for a couple of years. And I always remember that because all of a sudden flights get really expensive to Vancouver. Yes, they take over. Yeah, they're still doing it. But this year was virtual just oh. on Wednesday. A little prequel to the, the main conference. So when things open back up, we'll go back up there. Oh, that's awesome. If yeah. you go, I mean, summer's the best time in Vancouver. I don't know when you'll end up going, but summer's Yeah, I don't know what it's going to be, but I love Vancouver too. And first of all, it has the best Chinese food in North America. I uh, love all the food in Vancouver. Danielle, look at all these fans you have in the chat. I'm it's so amazing. excited because they're going to have to help me get through these puzzles. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there are lots of clever people that are going to help. It's, and it's going to be, it's going to be easy. Don't worry. You got this. And for those of you whom I don't know, I'm David Kwong. I am a puzzle maker. I'm also a magician. I've basically taken the world's nerdiest hobbies and put them together. <laughs> um, and Danielle, you've been to my magic show, I think, a couple times. Yes. I think and that's how we met initially, was because I came to your show with a friend of mine. I think so. That sounds right. And eventually, it's going to come here to LA and be at the Geffen Playhouse, so everybody will get to see the Enigmatist, which it's is all- very exciting. How long was yeah. your run in New York? It was pretty much a year. Took a, a little time off during the summer, but it's, uh, it was pretty much a year in New York and it'll be in LA next. That's awesome. Um, I can't wait till it's in LA. So let's do, let's do some puzzles. Should we jump right in? Sure, let's do it. This is gonna be great. Okay, so it is time for rhyme time. Okay. Rhyme time. I was inspired by your character uh, Killer Frost, uh huh. Because you look so intense there, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. I think that was the direction I was given. Because a synonym for Frost is rhyme, right? A rhyme. Nice. Yeah, it's a it's a word that you know the frost on the surface of things is rhyme. Okay. So there's a lot going on here because rhyme rhymes with time. I know I'm it's going to be confusing, but it's much easier than that. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to give you a clue phrase, and the answer is going to have two rhyming words. So here's an example. Okay. If I were to say, an occasion when frost first appears, you would say rhyme time. Okay? Here's okay. another one. How about this? Dam making animals elevated body temperature. Well, what kind of animal makes dams? A beaver. And the elevated body temperature fever, is fever. fever. There we go. So again, there's that clue for you. Dam uh -huh. making, Dam making animal. I would have gotten beaver. Elevated body temperature would have taken me a second. Yeah. So think it over. When you get it, you can raise your hand, give the people in the chat a few, few seconds to figure it out. If you don't know, you're welcome to ask them. Okay. We, this is going to be fun. A I couple of people got beaver fever too. So I feel like we're in good Oh, the, the people are on it so fast. It is... Um, are, uh, are we okay with the, I'm seeing a little buffering. Did I lose you? I'm still here. You're still there. Okay. Well, if you can hear me and see me, you can see what I'm doing here. I can't see what you're doing. Okay. Um, we'll give it another few seconds. If not, we'll just, we'll just restart it everybody and see what happens here. Okay. Okay. Or it could be on my end and I can leave and come back. Is that an option? Yeah, you can try that. Do you want to try that? 
Yeah. Because we can actually do these things audio, but it's probably better for the visual. Um, oh, so let's I would try that again. 100%. All right, I'm going to leave and come right back. Come right back in. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens here. There, maybe you are. Is that, oh, let's see what happens. Okay, we might have to restart this, my friends. We'll be right back. Um, yes, I'm, guys. Danielle, can you hear me? I can hear you. Because I'm getting in the comments that there's no sound, but... Um, I think there wasn't sound when I first started to join, but I can hear you. All right, so people in the chat, uh, can you hear me now? Can I get some thumbs up? Are we, are we good? I know you can hear me. <laughs> uh, Just wanted you to know I'm paying attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone, someone, in the, someone to, oh, you can hear me. Now we hear you, great. Okay, so here we go, we're doing rhyme time with Danielle. So again, I'll give you a clue phrase. And the answer is going to be two words that rhyme. So that answer, the one from before was yeah, damn making him. animals, elevated body temperature is a beaver fever. Okay, yeah. right. here we go. How about this one? Fake, fake elbow shaped pasta. Fake elbow shaped pasta. Yes. What kind of pasta, the various pastas, which one is the elbow shaped one? Oh, okay. I think I know what that is. Okay, what is that? Macaroni. Yes. Fake, not real. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, oh, I got somebody in the comments. Well, that's great. Go to them if you need it. It is phony. Rebecca, phony macaroni. Macaroni, yep. So you're welcome to Look when you want, you can cover it up if you want to. It's all, oh, no, I need all the help here. I can get. You're in charge here. Okay, here we go. How about this? One who one commits. Who, yeah, go ahead. Read it out. Hmm? One who commits crimes with cantaloupe or honeydew. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's a melon. Mm -hmm. uh, one who commits. Oh, I think I know it. What do you Should think? I wait is? for the comments to catch up. No, let's hear it. Bell and melon. Felon melon is correct. Yes, those two Melon words. felon. All right. Yeah, you know, potato, <laughs> potato. <laughs> okay, here we go. I really use, amused myself with that one. Good. All I'm right, done. here we go. Someone who eats a lot during a spring Christian holiday. A spring Christian holiday would be Easter. Okay, I think I got this one. I'm getting yeah. the hang of it a little bit. Yes, exactly. So if you're just joining us, this clue phrase is going to give us two words that rhyme. And what two words do you have there, Danielle? Easter feaster? Yes, we have an Easter feaster. Is someone who eats a lot during a Christian spring holiday. Uh, oh, this one's very fun. Okay. What is the rhyming answer for this? Legendary magician who escapes from a summer squash. From a summer squash? Yeah. I mean, legendary mag magician, I think Houdini. Yes. And the, the summer squad is the universal symbol for your right. <laughs> okay, guys, anybody in the comments? A summer squash that Houdini. rhymes with Houdini. Yeah, summer squash. Oh, yes, zucchini Becca Wallace, Houdini. Rebecca, Rebecca yeah, yeah. you're amazing. Yeah, Becca's been on a couple of them here. Um, yes, it is zucchini Houdini. Well done. Awesome. All right, next one here. Oh, how about this? A bother. At a medieval royal residence. Oh, I think I know this one. Well, that was quick. Should I say it? Yeah. A, a castle, so a hassle castle. Castle <laughs> That's hassle. Absolutely correct. So good. Hassle hassle. So fast, yes. 
That was a castle house. Yeah, I got castle go. quickly. I feel yeah. like if I can catch one, it makes well, it a little totally easier. Well, that's totally the way you got to do it. Yep. I mean, no one thinks two things at the same time. <laughs> so you start with one and then you get the one other. One foot right? in front of the other. Yeah. All right. How about this one? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. I think you're okay. going to nail it. How about this? The violin in the center. Well, that was a lot of pressure. The violin in the center, the yep. middle. What violin in the middle? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. That sounds good. Anybody in the comments want to help me out here? Where's Rebecca? <laughs> What's a synonym for violin? Oh, there. What middle do we have? Fiddle. Yes, that's right. It is a middle fiddle. Is violin in the center? If you're just joining us, the answer are two words that rhyme with each other. Uh, here we go. Oh, this is fun. Winter stalactite hanging from a two-wheeler. I think I got this one too. All my Killer Frost fans out there, come on. You guys should be yeah. able to figure this yeah. one out. I'm gonna wait until somebody says it in the comments and then I think yeah, I'll say it. Yeah, that's good. Anybody? Look at all these fans of yours, it's amazing. But who's gonna guess it? Oh, they're a little delayed, I think. What, what's, oh. the answer? what's the answer, Danielle? Icicle bicycle. It is an icicle bicycle. Crash and burn, That's got right. it. There you go. Bicycle, yes. icicle. Yep. A, a stalactite hanging from a two-wheeler. All right. What is the two-word phrase, the two words rhyme, to answer this clue, the rhyming answer? Okay. The rhyming answer. Alex These Rodriguez are... and Derek Jeter, when irritable. They play baseball. Mm-hmm. So they are players. You know what? Do you know what team they play? They Yankees. Used to play. Oh, yeah. They used to play for the Yankees when irritable. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cranky Yankees. Yeah. I saw Julie had it in the answer. Very good. A cranky she got it Yankee. really quick. Yep. That is absolutely right. Cranky Yankee. Yankees. All right. Shake 45. Well done. Jessica Lambo. Very good. This might be my favorite one. All right. <laughs> Here we go. The answer rhymes. Two word that rhyme. Here we go. Tidal wave of Italian cold cuts. Okay, so like deli meats for Italian cold cuts or meats. Or deli. Tidal wave? A wave. Tidal wave. Oh. All right, guys. What's a, what's a huge tidal wave? A tsunami. Uh-huh. And? Oh, a salami tsunami. <laughs> yeah, you had it. Uh, you had it. Julie had it as well, and David has it, but Michelle has it, but you got it as well. Salami tsunami. Very good. That's my, I don't know. That's just a funny thing to picture. <laughs> salami is a funny word to say. All right. How about this one? Here we go. Two word phrase. The two words rhyme. Here's your clue. Snapshot of Dorothy's dog. Dorothy's dog is Toto. Mm -hmm. So what's a snapshot of her? Oh, okay. Yeah. This one I figured out. Anybody you else in the comments? You got it so fast. Toto photo? It is photo, a Toto, Toto photo. That's right. Toto photo. Yeah, we need pictures of these. I'm not good enough with Photoshop <laughs> to give you a tsunami. <laughs> tsunami, Edward. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, oh, how about this? Fall off a mountain peak. A mountain fall off a mountain mm -hmm. peak. What's a, a mountain peak? Yeah. Like, um, like right there at the top. What do you right there at the top? The summit. Mm. Oh, okay. I think I got it. Yeah. What do you think it is? A summit plummet. That's right. If you're falling off the summit, you are plummeting. A summit plummet. Very good. Uh, this one's cute. Two words that rhyme to answer this clue phrase lettuce.com, perhaps. Lettuce.com, perhaps. Yeah. I'm making them a little tricky for you. Websites, web, per, maybe, per, something maybe, right? No, no, the perhaps, you can take that out. It's just oh. kind of playful. It's a little bit of a joke. So lettuce.com, when something's perhaps. a .com, what is that destination? It's a website. Mm -hmm. right. There's another word. Let's see if anyone in the comments got it. Lettuce.com. Oh. Did it come Spite. in? Did you see it? Might? Yeah, Bartley. Bartley252 said site might. Oh, that's pretty good. But I need an, it's another word, not site. There's something else. Website URL. But that's not it. Let's see. Let's see if this comes in. Oh, that's close. 
Yes, I think there was an autocorrect. Paul had oh, it. it is a Romaine, Romaine domain. domain. Yes, that's Romaine. a good one. Domain. All right, I got a little tricky on you there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's these food ones that are tripping me up. All right, the here's salami, the salami, the romaine, the zucchini. Here's the last one. Let's do this. These two words rhyme. We have an overcaffeinated piccolo player. A f flautist. Is that what you call someone who plays flute? That, I right? mean, that's a really good guess. I'm looking for another word, though. Dang it. Um, a hyper. Oh, hyper. Yes. yes, that is it. <laughs> it is a hyper, hyper. Well done. Yay. Yay. Word game. <laughs> I feel like this is okay. using my brain in a way it hasn't been used in weeks. I know. <laughs> um, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted to show everybody this. I mention this every week, so I'm sorry if you're getting annoyed. But I did make this jigsaw puzzle that I have to tell the world about, which is themed on my show, The Enigmatist. But this bookcase here has 14 secret codes on it. Um, if you're interested in picking it up, because by the way, Amazon is sold out of jigsaw puzzles. Oh. There's, a link in, there's a link in my bio. Um, and I uh, <clears throat> produced this along with this show with Dave Shukan, who's an expert puzzle maker. So that is the Enigma Jigsaw. And Danielle, it is time for one more game. We're going to stick with our theme here. Okay, of food and it that is I'm not guessing? <laughs> winter games. Okay. The winter games. Okay. The way this one's going to work is I'm going to show you two pictures. Uh -huh. You're going to figure out what those pictures are. And okay. then you're going to find the word that is in between those two pictures. So if I were to show you Afro and stamp, the word between them is frost. Now, all of these words are going to have something to do with winter. Okay, they might be objects, oh. they might be, you know, all, all sorts of things that have to do with winter that are between these two pictures. So that's okay. kind of, that's your process is first figure out what the two pictures are and then picture those words and the word that is in between them. That sure. To do I feel like I need a pen and paper to write this down, but that's okay. I know. I probably should have let you do that. But that's, <laughs> you got it. You got friends in the chat that are going to help you. Here we go. For your first one, how about these? Alaska, Texas. Mm -hmm. What winter word is between -A -A Alaska and Texas? Skate. Yes. Skate is between Alaska and Texas. Well done, Ooh. Danny. All right. Here we go. Look at all your great fans. That's amazing. Thanks, guys. Oh, I thought, so Yannick says, I thought that was Bob Ross. That guy, that guy <laughs> cool. Okay. How about these two words? What word is between them? Electric eye? Is that, he looks like he's getting electrocuted. Is that what the first one is? Uh, it's a synonym for that. It's another word for what you might feel if that happens. Oh, shock. So shock yeah. and then I. That's a good start. S H O C K. Hockey. Yes, your winter word is hockey between shock and I. Well done. People in Vancouver um, love hockey. They love the Canucks, and then some people on our crew are from Toronto, and they love the um, the Leafs. The Leafs, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. That's where I grew up in that area. I grew up in Rochester, upstate New York. That's the Buffalo oh, yeah. Sabers. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. But what do I know about hockey? Okay, here we go. How about these two people? What word is in between them? Okay, Susan. That's Susan Sarandon and Taraji P Henson, right? Mm -hmm. So Correct. Susan and Taraji. S U S A N T A. Santa. Yes, Santa is your winter word between Susan and Taraji. Well done. You are killing it. That is. I feel like I'm doing better at this game. <laughs> Than yeah, the that, last yeah. one. It's amazing. Some people are visual people and, and some people are word people. That's amazing. This is a little bit of a combination of both. You're exercising all your muscles here. It's great. How about these two brands? What do we have? Okay. So Tabasco <laughs> and Coach, right? T A B S T A B A S C O C O. Coco. Yes. Coco is your one. That was a tough one. That is your winter word between those two images. I feel Tabasco like I spelled Tabasco wrong. I feel like I was going to spell it incorrectly, but I still got Coco, so it's okay. No, you nailed it. You nailed it. That was a tough one. Uh, I'm impressed. Everyone All in right. the comments seems to have gotten Coco pretty quickly, yeah. too. Michelle I'm has glad it. you guys EJ are caught up it. with What's me. up, EJ? Alan has it. Uh, if you're just joining, I'm showing Danielle two pictures, and in between them is a word that has to do with winter in some way. 
So how about these two? Kermit and tennis. Mm -hmm. K-E-R-M. Mittens. That is correct. It is mitten. Kermit Our and mitten. tennis is mitten. You are flying through these. All right. Next one. Well, this one, I was going to say we're going to give them a second, but they're going to have a second for this one. How about here we go? Oh, boy. Right here. Liquor. Leopard? Is that or snow leopard? A bunch of things to work out here. <laughs> oh, boy. L liquor. Hmm. Or drinks? Yeah, maybe. Keep, or keep... alcohol? Oh, okay. Alcohol and then snow or leopard? Hold on. Let's do alcohol and leopard. Ah, don't look at the comments because Michelle has it. Okay. A. Alcohol's good. How about a different cat? I mean, a snow leopard? Those little ears. should tell you. Um, Uh-oh. I don't think I know what kind of. Let's go to the comments. It, it, oh, uh, the comments say Holly. Yeah. Hey, so what what, what kind of cat what, is this? What kind of cat might start with, uh, what, what letters? Uh, why? Yeah. Do you know that word? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Lynx. It really yeah, uh, it is a lynx. Yeah. I totally oh. cheated and read that one from the comments. Oh, there's no cheating. We're all friends here. <laughs> We're all friends. So that's right. Alcohol and links give us holly. Holly. Word, our hidden winter word. Ooh, this one's Lynx. good. Here we Lynx go. This is a good like Scrabble word too. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna save that one for another day. Yeah, for 14 <laughs> points. All right, here we go. Unless what, you get like a triple word in there. Okay. What, win what winter word is between these two? Oh boy. Okay, so the second word is, I assume, frozen. What's that first movie? It's is it Zootopia? Is that the nope. first movie? No. Who are those guys? All these guys escaped from the Central Park Zoo. What movie? It's a big, big franchise from DreamWorks Animation. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Not I can picture okay. it. I cannot think of the name of the movie. Well, there's that word for you. It's in the comments, so maybe you oh, can Oh, okay. Together. So Madagascar and Frozen. Yeah, so you can put together the... Scarf! Uh, yes, that is correct. It is Scarf between oh, Madagascar and Frozen. That's nice, right? Two animated yes. movies. I'm uh, embarrassed about Madagascar. No, it's been a little <laughs> while. It's okay. Uh, how about this one? What, two, uh, what winter word is between these images? Hmm. Okay, so the first one looks like skewers. Mm hmm maybe. And then, like, or is that a ledge? Yeah, that's okay. good. But you didn't say yes to skewers, so I'm not sold on yeah, that. I don't have a very good poker face. So. Um, okay, What's so. Another? Our friend Rebecca Roney has been all over these. It's already flown by in the chat. Oh, you can't see it. so bobsled. You guys got this one so quickly. So what's the first word? If they're not skewers, what are they? Well, if we have ledge giving us the LED. What's going to give us bobs? B-O-B-S. Oh, kebabs. Yeah, kebabs and ledge gives us bobsled. Bobsled. All right. Uh, guys, a few you more. guys are killing it. Thank you for your help. Just a few more. If you're joining, these two images have a secret winter word between them. What about these, Danielle? Okay. This is a lot to take in. So the first one, you've blacked something out. Yes. Is that, the, is that a festival? Uh -huh. So Woodstock is my guess. Mm, that sounds good. Okay. okay. And then... That looks like the things you bake things with. Yeah, what do you, what do you call those? Um, I mean, all I can think about is cookies right now. I'm like, I should go upstairs and bake cookies. Um, ingredients. Okay, yes, so Woodstock. Right. Woodstock and then ingredients. Stocking. Stocking is correct. Well done, Danielle. Between Woodstock and ingredients, we have stocking. I'm impressed. Uh, all right, there are uh, a couple more here. Here we go. How about these two? Okay, that's a zodiac sign. I think it's 
Aries. I'm not saying anything this time. <laughs> and a kimono. So A R Kim Okay, how do you spell kimono? Yeah, I think you have it. How do you think you spell it? K K I M K I M O N O. Oh, yeah. K I. Mm -hmm. Should we ask our friends? Uh, Eskimo. Yeah, that was a tough one. Aries. But was it Aries? Aries plus kimono give us Eskimo. Eskimo for our winter word. I like that one. Our frost. Aries was tough. Word. Yeah. I wasn't sure. You, you got it right away, though. Uh, all right, how about this couple more here? Um, who is this person and what is this? Oh, object? okay, so that's Pigpen and Guinness. Wow. P -I -G -P -E -N -G. So Penguins is the answer. Yes, my lord. Oh my God, that was so Pink fast. Pen was right up my alley and Guinness. Like, why are those the two that I got really quickly, but I couldn't spell kimono? <laughs> are, you, are you a big Peanuts fan? Uh, I mean, I loved Peanuts growing up. Yeah. I haven't seen them in a while. And you love Guinness as an adult? Sure, yes. <laughs> All right, last one here. Bring it on home. What winter word is between these two places? Okay, so that looks like a playground and a castle? Well, it's a specific location. Wait, I think you're too close. Is it, oh, um, a playground in Hogwarts? Hogwarts? That sounds good. Hogwarts. Yeah. They're coming in. Uh-oh. Signifying the Groundhog? End of winter. Yes. It's oh, a, it is I was like, Groundhog. I been... Yes, I know. It's it's kind of a winter. I like thing, it, no. It was a nice <laughs> a nice end to our winter theme. That's an adorable puzzle. groundhog too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining. Of you course, my it. pleasure. Thank you, everybody, for all your help. You crushed it. And uh, we do this um, every Wednesday and Sunday. So come back if you like this kind of word puzzle. Uh, a big I loved it. Again, I feel like I got to use my brain in a different way. I know. You, you're, you're stuck inside, but you can still think outside the box. Ooh, that should be <laughs> the tagline. tagline. <laughs> yeah. A uh, big thank you to Dave Shukan, who produces the show with me. And... My love to you, Danielle. Miss you. So nice to I'm see you. I'm glad you you, uh, you seem happy and healthy, and uh, I hope everybody else is doing well. Yeah. Uh, see you. See you soon, guys. Yes, I hope so. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. I don't know how to.